In a world that constantly pushes us into boxes, telling us to specialize and focus on just one thing, it's easy to feel trapped. The idea of being limited to one path, one career, or one skill can be suffocating. But here's the truth. We are not machines designed to perform a single task. We are human beings, driven by curiosity and a desire to explore all that life has to offer. If you've ever felt the urge to branch out and try different things, to explore various interests and hobbies, then you're on the right track. That urge is a sign of someone who is curious, someone who is always eager to learn, grow, and experience new things. But while this desire is a gift, it can also be a challenge. If not managed correctly, it can leave you feeling overwhelmed, stuck in place, and frustrated with your progress. The desire to do everything can lead to a lack of focus, spreading your energy too thin across many activities. You might find yourself moving in circles, never really making progress in any one direction. You've probably heard the phrase, jack of all trades, master of none. And while it may seem discouraging, it holds a grain of truth. It's essential to balance your interests and focus enough to make real progress. But here's the good news. You don't have to give up on your desire to explore multiple interests. There is a way to manage it all, a way to do many things while still making meaningful progress. The key lies in balance. I've been there, wanting to do everything but ending up with nothing to show for it. I've tried and failed at numerous hobbies, business ideas, and creative pursuits. It took me a long time to find my balance, to figure out how to consistently improve in various areas without feeling stretched too thin. So, how do you manage multiple interests without losing your focus? It starts with accepting that doing everything is impossible. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, filled with essential duties and responsibilities. The challenge is to budget your time intentionally, avoiding the trap of overcommitting yourself. One effective way to do this is to create a hierarchy of your interests. Take a few minutes to write down everything that matters to you. Skills, hobbies, business ideas, everything. Then rank them based on how important they are to you. This exercise will give you clarity, helping you see which pursuits deserve the most of your time and attention. Once you've identified your priorities, it's time to manage your time effectively. Time management isn't about micromanaging every minute of your day. It's about valuing your time and using it with intention. Planning your days and weeks can help you align your time with your goals, ensuring that you make progress in the areas that matter most. For example, if creating quality videos is your top priority, then it should take up the most significant portion of your schedule. Other interests, while still important, may need to take a back seat for now. The key is to be honest with yourself about what matters most and allocate your time accordingly. But managing multiple interests doesn't mean you have to abandon the less important ones altogether. There will always be pockets of time where you can indulge in side hobbies that bring you joy and creativity. It's all about finding that balance giving the most time to your top priorities while still making room for the things that make life diverse and enjoyable. Remember, it's okay to temporarily set aside some interests. You don't have to pursue everything at once. Life is long, and there will be time to explore new hobbies and skills in the future. For now, focus on what's most important, and trust that the other pursuits will still be there when the time is right. There's also a powerful way to develop new skills without adding more to your schedule, by reframing existing activities. For instance, when I had to start cooking my own meals, I decided to approach it as an opportunity to learn. Instead of seeing it as just another chore, I turned it into a skill-building exercise. This approach allowed me to improve my cooking without sacrificing time for other interests. Lastly, be aware of shiny object syndrome, the temptation to jump to new activities just because they seem exciting and different. Social media can exacerbate this, making you feel like you're not doing enough. But remember, your skills and interests are valuable, even if they don't match up with everything you see online. 
Don't let the constant stream of other people's achievements make you feel inadequate. Managing multiple interests requires discipline, focus, and a willingness to make tough choices. It's not always going to be easy, and there will be times when you feel frustrated or burnt out. But if you stay committed to your goals, prioritize what matters most, and allow yourself to enjoy the journey, you can achieve a healthy balance. So, take a moment to reflect on your own interests. What truly matters to you? What can you defer for now? And how can you use your time more intentionally to make real progress? By answering these questions, you can begin to manage your multiple interests in a way that brings fulfillment and success. The journey may be long, but the rewards are worth it. Embrace your curiosity, nurture your passions, and strive for that perfect balance. The treasure is in the journey, and with the right approach, you can do it all without sacrificing your peace of mind.